linearity and orthogonality in experimental designs. Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Assumption of linearity in two-level designs. In general, significant proportion of experiments are performed with two-level factorials. Two-level full factorial designs with k factors are denoted as 2 to the power k designs. These models assume linear response. For example, a linear regression model of 2 to the power 2 design is given by y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 1 2 x1 x2 where x1 and x2 are the settings of the factors a and b. So what is the assumption of linearity in two-level designs? The two-level factorial designs assume linearity of response. In reality, the response may or may not be linear. If the non-linearity is large, the error in predicting interim values predicted by the model can be large as shown here with a red arrow. So what is the effect of curvature or non-linearity? The more the curvature or non-linearity, the more will be the error in prediction of interim values. So what should we do? How to minimize the effect of this non-linearity in our experimentation? One possible recommendation is to select levels of the factors as close as possible. As shown in the two figures, you can see that this will help in reducing the error. However, this will reduce the magnitude of the effect also and will make it harder to measure and detect the effect. Therefore, experimenters often add a center point in the design. The purpose of adding a center point is to validate the assumption of linearity. If the response at the center point is not significantly different than the predicted value on the straight line, then a non-linear model will be required to reduce the error in predicted versus actual response. The first figure shows a 2 to the power 2 design with a center point, that is two factors A and B, and a blue dot shows the center point in the design. Usually more than one center points are added the second figure shows a 2 to the power 3 design with a cube and the center point is shown with a blue dot. Orthogonality. An experimental design is orthogonal if the effect of any factor balances out that is totals up to zero across the effect of the other factors. Orthogonality implies equal number of samples under various treatment conditions. An important advantage of orthogonality is that effect of a factor can be calculated independent of effects of the other factors and interactions. Mathematically, two vectors are called orthogonal when their multiplication is zero. Consider a 2 to the power 2 design. The levels of the two factors are shown in the following table. These are the two vectors A and B. Now multiply the two vectors to get a column AB and observe that the total is zero. Thus vectors A and B are orthogonal to each other. Let us consider a 2 to the power 2 design with two factors A and B. Let us create the design in Microsoft Excel. So the column B will have minus 1, minus 1, plus 1, plus 1 and column A will have minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 plus 1. This is the standard order or Yates order. So the columns A and B are the two vectors A and B. And now we will multiply the two vectors and the multiplication will be stored in column A into B. So we will just multiply the two columns so we use the formula, select the cell in column A and multiply by uh, corresponding cell in the same row in column B. So we get the multiplication and we copy the formula 
Now the vector AB is the multiplication of vectors A and vectors B. Now let us see if it is orthogonal it will total up to 0. So we can check the total which uh, is 0 and therefore we can say that columns A and columns B are vector A and vector B are orthogonal to each other. And the sample sizes will be equal. If you look at the number of minus 1 and plus 1 cells in each column, they are all equal. It shows that the sample sizes of plus 1 settings and minus 1 settings in each columns that is A, B and A, B are all equal. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click on the subscribe and bell icon to get notified for future videos.